Happy Halloween! I am Gary Brantner of Renard Studios Comics, and this is the show where I review comic books, talk about Kickstarters, and all sorts of fun stuff like that. So, let's start with, uh, so it's Halloween, and uh, yeah, we're doing the usual thing. We've got the orange and black sandwiches here at my house, and uh, oh yeah, I should, I'll post pictures of what I'm talking about, orange and black sandwiches, underneath in the feed of this. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I've got a couple little Halloween-ish kind of comics to review today, so let's begin right now with, this is duplicate number four. Oh, let's see here. Got a little glare on that one. Can you see that one pretty clear? Yeah, this is duplicate four. And uh, start with some credits here. So duplicate four is by written by Carla Nappy. It has art by Mariana Strykowski, Strykowska, sorry, sorry about that, and uh, lettered by Carlos M. Mangol, Manjul, and uh, line work by Leila Del Duca, colored by Owen Genie, and he, who also did, those two also did the cover art, so yeah, very cool stuff, I love reading uh, Duplicant. Duplicant is, uh, it's one that drew me in because of the name Duplicant. I happen to be a huge fan of uh, stories that involve clones and whatnot, and, uh, oh shoot, I think my camera might be a little lopsided. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. It's okay to watch me on tilt, I guess. Uh, anyway, so Duplicant is a the story of cloning organs. There was a pandemic, and in this pandemic, a lot of people... Uh, this pandemic uh, illness, uh, uh, what do I, what am I thinking here? This pandemic, this illness concentrates on organs and it disintegrates organs within the body and uh, a scientist and a doctor, they figured out how to uh, successfully clone organs and uh, replace them in these people that have had the organs uh, disintegrated inside them, whatever. And there's some nanotech involved that uh, that actually kind of um, the nanotech. Uh, what am I trying to say? Wow, it's a little early in the morning for me. So the nanotech actually is able to be controlled by this corporation, and uh, they're killing people that they feel like uh, don't need to uh, be around or are threatening their money or whatever. And so whenever you get one of these organs too. Uh, you become a slave to the corporation that made the technology that made this all possible. It's crazy stuff, and there's a big conspiracy going on in the storylines. Really cool art. So, I mean, I am loving this storyline. I am loving this comic. Uh, it's, like I said, this is issue four. We're all the way in. They even show some progress. Uh, pictures on how the, how the cover was made. See, that's the end result. And those are the uh, sketches that brought them to the idea. Really cool stuff. And so, yeah, in this one, you're finding out that uh, there's a big conspiracy going on on both sides. There's a there's an anti-cloning organ group, kind of religious, and it's made by one of the uh, scientist doctors that actually started in on this whole thing and discovered this crazy stuff. And, uh, yeah, really good stuff. I love it. Really enjoying reading this book, and uh, I think I already backed issue five on the Kickstarter. And uh, yeah, I should have reviewed this back then, but I think it happened over the summer or something when I was uh, not up and running yet. Good stuff. Really love this series, and uh, yeah, I will continue to keep backing it as long as it keeps going on to Kickstarter or Indiegogo, wherever you place it. That's usually where I find it, though, is on the. In, in on the Kickstarters. So, Duplicate, number four, awesome read, and uh, cool stuff. Now, here's one I read last night, Miskatonic High, number 10. This one's really cool. It's This one is features, oh yeah, I forgot, sorry. Backing up to Duplicant here. Also, my name is featured on the uh, thank you page as Gary Brantner of Renton Arb Studios Comics. That's always fun to find my name in those. So thank you, uh, Carla and team on the uh, Duplicant for uh, putting my name in the thank you page as Gary Brantner of Rent Arp Studios Comics. 
Really love it. Love seeing that. Cool stuff. Anyway, back to Miskatonic High 10. So, Miskatonic High 10. Oh, that's really cool. That should be a sticker. So that is an eye from the dream world. Uh, anyway, in this comic, let's get with, start off with the credits here. Miskatonic High 10 is written by Mike Shea and drawn by Ryan Mendoza. Really cool. The art always blows me away on this. The story always blows me away too. So in this one, character Alex is uh, going through the dreamscape with a cat, Isis, that can speak. This cat is like hundreds of years old and uh, really cool. Really good storyline. I loved it. Um, yeah, oh, well, there's a really cool image of the dreamscape there. Wow. So yeah, I'm, I am I am not familiar with the Lovecraft uh, lore and uh, Miskatonic High always blows me away with uh, what they do know and introducing me into this world, so I'm loving them for that. Cool stuff. And uh, yeah, during in this dream world, uh, Alex's friends um, have all been kidnapped by this bad person, and uh, he is holding them captive, and uh, she is trying to find out. She's in a coven of witches, and each witch has the powers of, or basically excels in uh, earth, wind, fire, water, things like that. And they are missing one of their main elements. And that's why they're trying to recruit Alex, Alexandria. But she goes by Alex. And uh, yeah, really cool stuff. I'm loving it. And as always, I always love how uh, they, in the back matter, they always throw in a commentary about how this issue was formed and uh, how the process went between writer and artist and throwing ideas back and forth. Really cool stuff. I love it. Really nice uh, look into how things are done. And there's Lady Lovecraft, another comic I have in my read pile. That's an ad for it. So that's pretty cool. There's a special preview for it, which uh, that's cool. And then here's Cover Gallery different variant covers that this comic had. So yeah, thank you again, Mike and Ryan for writing and drawing Miskatonic High. I love it. Love Miskatonic High and uh, all that stuff. And there's a thank you page, but I don't think uh, I made it onto this thank you page. So maybe next time. So that was Miskatonic High 10. Next up I have uh, some Lovecraft P.I. Well, not Lovecraft P.I. This is Berserker Solo Island. This is a postcard that came with it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. So that's a pretty cool postcard. That'll go up on my wall of uh, cards and whatnots. Here is a license and badge and stuff for Miss for Lovecraft P.I. Came with it. Oh, here's a bookmark that. Uh, it probably came from something else, though. But it says on there, let's see, oh man, get a focus. Special thanks to Gary Brantner of Rentnarb Studios Comics. So that's cool. Anyway, so, Berserkers, Solo Island number two. Yeah, book two. This is book two of eight. So this will be an eight-issue series when it's finally done. That's pretty cool. Um, Berserker Solo Island is created by Bill Hawk and D.W. Kahn, written, written by Bill Hawk, art by Daniel Segulia, and colorist Damien Panalba, lettered by Joe Savadira, Savadra, Savadra, that sounds right, script supervisor by Francisco Tomat, and coloring artist by Corlin Kruger. And edited by D.W. Kahn. So this is from Dark Side Media also. Check out that. That is an awesome little whale there. I think I have a sticker of that somewhere. And uh, yeah, so in this issue, um, 
Ensign uh, Sans shows up to the base and he meets the people that he's going to be working with. And uh, basically they're excavating a hole that they found some uh, human remain remains in. And uh, are, they're trying to find out what happened to a soldier that was stationed on this and disappeared. And uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, and most of what they know about the land comes from uh, history books and uh, episodic serial books, stuff like that. But they believe the land is cursed, and it probably is. Really cool stuff though. Uh, so they have a storm coming, they decide that they're going to tarp over the excavation site so that it doesn't get damaged and uh, hinder their investigation. But then Ensign Sand, he falls into a hole and actually finds out that there is a tunnel underneath this hole. Oh no. And uh, so he ends up inside a mine and the, the uh, French guy that's helping him dig, helping him cover up the place, was uh, he falls in there with him. And so then they're, they can't get up through the same place, so they have to find their way out. And that's basically the whole story on this issue is uh, you meet some of the people on the island, they fall into a hole, and they try and get out. But what kind of nefarious things are going on, all that fun stuff, we'll find out in the next issues. I've already backed the next issue, so that's pretty cool. There are no thank you pages in uh, Berserker Solo Island, so that's it for that. And oh yeah, that was pretty cool. Where, oh man, now it's gone. Saw some cool lettering, there we go. There's some pretty cool lettering going on right there. So yeah, that's uh, that's the end of Berserker Solo Island. That was a cool read. Now I'm going to move on to Rentnarb's Mailbox. Rentnarb, Rentnarb's Mailbox, Mailbox, doo -doo 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 -doo. Mailbox. Okay, Rentnarb's Mailbox. Oh, look at that. I've got some more Miskatonic High, Miskatonic High 12. Ooh, a lot of glare on that one. I got two, obviously, because uh, I back it so that I can, uh, me and a pal Harlock that I work with, back it together, and so I always get one issue for him, one issue for me, and whenever I do end up on the thank you pages, it'll say Harlock and GB for me uh, of Rent Arb Studios Comics. So, Miskatonic High 12. Can't wait to read that one. So I just barely read 10. Ooh, I'm a little behind, but you know, the read pile is pretty big right now. And I also got uh, Miskatonic High meets Lovecraft PI, the trade paperback. It had 22 pages of more content, more story about that involved, so that's cool. And it's got a signed and numbered 30 out of 200 book plate. That's, I think that might be the first book plate that I've had. But I like the numbering system and all that. That's pretty cool to do it that way. It's a sticker, I think. I don't know where I'm going to place that in the book because there's no blank spots on the covers. And so I also got Snow White Zombie Apocalypse 4. This is pretty cool. There's a cool po uh, postcard in there with that one too. So yeah, Snow White Zombie Apocalypse. That's another one I love to back. Pretty cool stuff. And this one is not one I backed on Kickstarter, but one that I just happened to... I've been following this letterer, uh, Nate Picos, and he advertised that he had a book coming out, and so I I put down to get one of the uh, early copies as soon as it was done. And so it's really cool. It's just a textbook on how to letter and whatnot. A lot of cool stuff to go on in there. Oh, yeah. I happen to use quite a bit of uh, fonts from this guy. He uh, goes under the name of Blambot. And yeah, there's really cool fonts, really cool textbook about lettering and stuff. Oh, and finally, the last thing I got in the mailbox lately is Glarian, issue one from uh, White Ash. So can't wait to read that. It's got a lot of stuff in there too. Stickers and prints to put on the wall. Now on to the campaign corner. This is where I talk about Kickstarters and Indiegogo projects that are going on right now that you should know about or that I'm already backing. So first off, 
is, uh, before I even get into that, uh, as you may know, I make Peter Pan the Vampire comic books, and so I thought I'd take this second to uh, talk to you about the comic books. Um, they're on IndiePlanet.com right now, and uh, you can download issues 1, 2, and 3 for free. That's cool. It always makes me happy to get an email saying that somebody's downloaded my comics. So check out Peter Pan the Vampire on IndiePlanet.com for free download, or if you want, you could buy the print. That'll really make me happy. So first up on uh, Kickstarter is Chronicles of Horror 1 and 2. Stay tuned. It's an 8 issue, or no, it is an 8 story horror anthology comic from the writers and artists on the Supernova, on the Seer Nova team. Uh, so check out Comics uh, Chronicles of Horror, stay tuned, on Kickstarter right now. It has hours to go, so jump on there really fast, check it out. It's really cool. Next up is Daughters of Wolves 1. It ends on Halloween night, so that's tomorrow. So check that one out. It's the reimagining re of Little Red Riding Hood. If uh, it were told from an epic fantasy rice punk retro future. Check it out. I love it. She's got a really huge right hand, kind of like uh, Hellboy or whatnot. And uh, it's an 80-page prestige comic. That means it's... Uh, Glued, not stapled. Pretty cool. So 80 pages. Fun stuff. Check out Daughter of Wolves 1 on Kickstarter until October 31st. Cult Heroes Stories is on Kickstarter right now. They just upgraded their uh, tiers to include uh, physical rewards. I jumped in on that one. and uh, So check it out. It is for mature readers. It is the Dirty Rotten Edition Volume 1 and Young and Bitter Cult Heroes. Four stories, four short stories about the inglorious rotten heroes and villains of the cult heroes world. So really cool. Check out Cult Heroes Stories on Kickstarter till November 15th. By the time I get to Dallas is on Kickstarter right now. It is a pandemic-ish kind of story. 80% of the world's population suddenly have an urge to get to one spot, whether they're flying, driving, walking, whatever, they are trying to get to this spot in Dallas, and uh, nobody knows why. And this doctor, well, not he's not a doctor yet. He was in school to be a doctor, dropped out, something like that. His girlfriend just up and left and said, I'm going. i got to get to Dallas. And uh, he's like, what? And uh, he's trying to find out why his uh, girlfriend just up and left. And uh, cool. So this is the book three of the series so far. And there's also a book three of the side book that comes along with it called The Trinity Project. And uh, that's really cool stuff. It shows some history on to how this plague started and whatnot. Oh my gosh, too many timers. Uh, it's a Saturday and I usually work Saturdays, but I have Halloween off, so... Haha, <laughs> missing work. Anyway, I'm not really missing work. By the time I get to Dallas, book three and Trinity Project book three on Kickstarter till November 5th. Touching Evil hardcover number three is on Kickstarter right now. I'm really loving Touching Evil. If you're not reading Touching Evil, uh, you definitely should, especially during the Halloween season. Cool stuff. So uh, it's about a lawyer who uh, gets handed down this curse from someone in prison when she was in there talking to him. And uh, basically anybody she touches, if they're evil, they die right there on the spot. Bad news for them and even for her because she is blamed for it. Crazy stuff. And, uh, yeah. So, this lawyer named Ada is trying to uh, protect her son, Oliver. And uh, she's a single mom, raising this kid all alone, and now she has this evil touch. And, to make matters worse, one of the convicts in the prison cut off her finger and is using it to touch people that he hates. And uh, making, them go, making them dead and go into the evil place inside Ada's head. It's crazy stuff. Touching evil. Hardcover 3 is on Kickstarter until November 6th. Super Scouts, the collected edition, is on Kickstarter right I think now. I'm taking crazy pills! Oh my gosh, what is that? Sorry, that's my text. Or a friend request, whatever. So, 20 years past their prime, TV actors uh, of a s iconic sh series called Super Scouts is uh, suddenly find out that this show is real. That uh, they, they've been acting it, but then the it's like Galaxy Quest or something. Uh, 
So they're in a Power Ranger kind of world. And all of a sudden they find out that all these aliens and stuff that they've acted and pretend to fight are actually out there. And uh, what did they do about it? It's pretty cool. Check it out. 105 pages of awesome story. Super Scouts, the collected edition. As on Kickstarter till November 9th. Unicorn, Vampire Hunter 1 and 2. Oh, wait. I think they're up to issue 3 now. Anyway, yeah. Because I've already read 1 and 2. Unicorn Vampire Hunter 3 is on Kickstarter right now, and it's an all-ages fantasy about a unicorn who hunts vampires. He stabs them with his horn. How cool is that? And, uh, yeah. You find out a little bit about the curse that made him a unicorn vampire hunter in the issue 2. I love it. The art is amazing. The story is awesome. Unicorn Vampire Hunter 1 and 2 and 3. It's on Kickstarter till November 13th. Duplicant number 1. 1 through 5 is on Kickstarter right now. Duplicant, as you know, I just read, is a really cool story about a pandemic that destroys organs and the scientists, doctors, and the conspiracies all around it, corporation, whatever, all that fun stuff, are taking advantage of this technology, using it for bad. So check out Duplicant 1 through 5 on Kickstarter right now until November 18th. The complete Kickstarter playbook is on Kickstarter right now from Will Terry, uh, the person who made uh, What They Don't Teach You in Art School. Uh, really cool textbooks about things, and so yeah, I'm excited to see what kind of pointers he gives for uh, how to make Kickstarters work. And uh, so check out the complete Kickstarter playbook on Kickstarter right now till November 22nd. Ooh, here's one from one of my neighbors. Uh, Wasatch Wonders number two is on Kickstarter right now. Check it out. It's 24 pages of comic book continuing the adventures of Utah's greatest super team. Evan makes this comic book in his spare time. He's a teacher, and uh, so he's doing a really cool job getting things done. I mean, I understand how it is trying to do a full-time job and making a comic, so right on, Evan. Uh, keep making your comics. I'll back you whenever you they hit on Kickstarter, and stay with it. So check out Wasatch Wonders number two on Kickstarter till November 23rd. Miskatonic High 13 is on Kickstarter right now. Wow, I just barely got 12. So, the time-twisting time end to Season 2 is finally coming. When Alex and Simon confront the Warlock, it's a race against time to save them. But, for some of the teens, it's already too late. 27 pages of awesomeness. I love my Miskatonic High. Obviously, I'm backing it for two issues, one for me and one for Harlock. So check out Miskatonic High 13 on Kickstarter till November 25th. Dig Two Graves, the graphic novel, is on Indiegogo right now. After a brutal mur murder of her family, Miranda Stone is left with the desire for revenge. But you know what they say about revenge? If you're out for revenge, dig two graves. 80 pages of plus four bonus pages of material for mature readers. Check out Dig Two Graves. Yeah, Dig Two Graves on Indiegogo. And Happy Pines is coming to Kickstarter soon. It is a 35-page mystery thr thriller comic set in the forests of Nova Scotia. Happy Pines. Check it out. You can get notified when it launches. Planer Jane 1 through 3 is on Kickstarter right now. Issue 3 of The Darkly... Oh wait, nope. Planer Jane 4 and 5. Sorry, I wrote my notes on top of the old notes. Planer Jane 4 and 5 is coming to Kickstarter soon. Planer Jane is an ordinary teenage girl going to school and uh, she starts in on the business of being a hero killer for hire. So how does that work out for a teenager? Think Dexter if uh, it was a teenage girl that had to go to school. And it's all drawn in black, white, and red. That's really cool. I love how they're doing that. So, that brings me to the end of the Kickstarter campaign corner. Campaign corner. Uh, tell me about your campaigns. Send me links and stuff that you want me to check out, and I'll check them out and give you a shout-out on the show. And uh, tell me about anything that you think is cool that I should know about, even if it's not on Kickstarter. If you've got an indie comic that's a uh, free digital download or whatever, check it out, and check out my digital download that's free on uh, whatever. So, now I'm going to go into uh, Patreon. 
talk to you a little bit about um, uh, Retin Arb Studios on Patreon. And uh, wow, here's my notes for that. So I've had a Patreon page for a little while. Don't know what to do with it, and I, I don't have any followers yet. But uh, this is how I'm going to do it. This is the Patreon section of my show where I give a shout out to all my patrons. Since I don't have any, I will give you an example of how I'm going to do it. I'm going to place, hold up a card, and if you're if you're backing me on Patreon, I will say your name, and I will hold up a card that shows your social medias. And then when I post this video onto uh, Twitter or Facebook, I will also tag you in it and say, "Hey, thanks for backing these videos on Patreon." So if you want to be shouted out and uh, tagged in all these videos, do that. Check me out. Um, back me for a dollar a month. It's not bad. Cause I make about three videos a month, whatever. So that get shout out three times for whatever. And uh, thank you for watching Rent Arb Studios Comics on YouTube. And thank you for listening to me talk about comic books. You can follow Rent Arb Studios on any social medias that I have as Rent Arc Studios Comics. If you find this green alien, that's me. So thank you for watching and have a happy Halloween. Hope you have some fun out there. Stay safe. And uh, yeah, make sure there's no spiders in your gum.